one. Today we're going to pl play how to tra how to raise a dragon by Gregory Ware. I I don't know with Anca <coughs> and Con Arcade. Uh, I've already played a lot of this. Um, controls are pretty simple. Arrow keys, arrow keys move right and left. Down plus C, shimmy. Jump down through a sporting platform. I'm, I'm drinking, I'm drinking Sprite, so, yeah. Um, Z, jump, press again in the air to do a jump jump once you're old enough. Press repeatedly to fly and hold down to glide when your wings are fully grown. Also, skip and close the zone those things. X, bite, eat things to gain abilities. C, breathe. When you're old enough, you may get, gain special breath abilities. Escape. Return to tower screen. Credits? <laughs> Credits. Here by Gregory Ware. Sponsored by, by Ncon Okay. Thanks to Liz, Li, Lisa Avery. Is that the name? Um, feature sound from pidsound.com and music samples from Alex Bizora's guitar for improvisation on Friday <coughs> and Kalis Kumar's guitar mood pack. I think a cute guitar scene just I don't know how to read, okay? Sometimes I don't know how to say words sometimes, okay? Twelve strings and guitar player chords and jazz flute team available blah blah blah. blah. Okay back. Okay, let's start. It's an egg. Oh what hat. Never mind. Oh my gosh, what is this world? Hatchlings. Dragons hatch alone. They are not brooding creatures. This is possible because of the high degree of auto anomaly of newly hatched dragons. Unlike human babies, hatchling dragons can fend for themselves. While their wings are still vestigial, they can chase down and consume food without as assistance. They are capable of defending themselves against predators. Coloration. <coughs> Dragon scales can take on almost any color of, in the rainbow. Contrary to popular folklore, the color of the dragon hat has little to do with the dragon's temper or abilities. The color of a dragon scale depends entirely on the on the food it eats when it's still a halfling. It is unclear what causes a dragon to prefer one food over another. It may simply be a matter of personal pr prefer preference. I don't know. I don't want to eat any of your stuff. We I failed. Anyways. Do 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 when still a halfling, a dragon can be captured with relative ease using cleverness or magic. The benefits of a captive dragon are met as magical creatures. Even their droppings are useful in magical rituals. Ew. The eth ethics of holding captive a sentient creature are of course questionable, as is the wisdom of keeping such a creature for too long. This is like hatching. I don't like it! Yeah. I. I. De. Of. Those I don't know. After several years, the newly born dragon will have grown considerably. It will be as tall as a human being and will have achieved a great deal of strength and intelligence. A captive. Ad oh, adolescent, right? Yeah, I think so. 
is not likely to stay cautious for very, doing very long. The wings of an adolescent are not developed enough for true flight, but they are arched with some lift, allowing the dragon to extend the height and length of its legs. Oh, you mean like this? I don't know, but I like doing breath powers. The most distinctive ability of the dragon is the breath power. Dragons can channel magic through their mouths to cause amazing effects. Searing fire, healing mist, or even a burst of water that, and magic that can cause plants to grow with incredible speed. Each dragon has only a single breath ability, and it seems to be determined by the dragon's diet as an adolescent. Some dragons lack any breath ability at all, perhaps due to in 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 I can't I can't read I can't I can't English I can't English nutrition I don't want this I don't want this either I don't want that either. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go, goodbye, 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 I don't care. I don't care, okay? I thought this was nasty. Why is that there? Escape! There are no known cases of a captive dragon being kept past late adolescence. The dragon is too intelligent and strong will to be held in captivity once its body and mind develop past human levels. The luckiest captors simply awake one day to find their pets missing. The less fortunate receive objectless in, in the consequences of crossing dragons. I'm a big guy now. Adulthood. An adult dragon is at least half a century in age. Several stories tall and capable of eating a cow or a human in one in a bite. Cruel dragons will often land on humans, killing them. An adult dragon can soar into the air by flapping its wings or glide by holding them out. A newly adult dragon must find a home. It must first find a home. Good homes are secure locations with a view of nearby land. One can always tell when a dragon has chosen a new home. It will rest motionless in a spot for a time. Oh, it's a bit there. Sad. Oops. Um, I, we'll see that later. I'm just gonna fly. Glide, fly, glide, fly. It's fun. I almost squished that guy. I almost squished anyone. I almost squished anyone. Okay, he's gonna come on now. I'm gonna glide. Yeah. I can't see myself. No. <laughs> Reclusive Watcher. The Watcher is the most mysterious of dragons. Does little harm to humans and contends itself with staying away from all civilizations. These dragons are rarely regarded as threats to civilization. They only regard it as threats to civilization. These dragons are we regard as threats to civilization. They only occasionally cause damage to human settlements and will often only hurt humans who attempt to attack them. The heroes who attempt to destroy the dragons are typically motivated by personal fame rather than protecting civilization. The hero for every dragon there is a single human capable of posing a threat. This hero of pure or heroine seems to have a link of destiny with the dragon. The Lindsay hero is a warrior who sets out to destroy the dragon. Alternatively, the hero may decide to befriend the dragon and work by its side. The hero may even be sent to pay a trip to, to a draconic tyrant. Just like dragons, theirs can be good or evil. They are recognizable only by the tremendous thing. What's up? What's up? Hello? 
Ah. 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 Oh. Oh my god, that took forever. Okay, uh, I'll befriend it with a flower. Ha ha ha. Hello, um, I got this for you. Uh, no. Yeah. I got money. I found it in the middle of nowhere. Here you go. Friendship, or the proper, proper gifts and greetings, a hero can befriend a dragon. The partnership thus formed is a strong bond as family or marriage. Wait, what? The hero and the dragon will fight for each other and serve as constant companions. Such a partnership between two di dis dissimilar beings is special. The greatest deeds in history were done by heroes paired with dragons, and I won't. And I would venture that there is no more more powerful force on Earth. But I like doing this. I really do. I like having the heroes that jump up, like be with the drag dragon's head, head, symbolizing their friendship. I like doing that. The end. Or is it? Get this. Get this. Wait. No. Wait, I thought I missed that. Oh well. No. Do 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 Okay, this This might take a while. I will admit, it might take a while. <laughs> I'm bored. Can you guys tell that? Anyways. Did somebody say was our? God damn it! Oh. Well. Here we go. Eh. Oh. I keep missing the stairs. We. Can I actually turn the volume down? I'm gonna turn the volume down. There we go. Beep. Mmm, tastes like salad. I like salad. Mmm. Okay, if I remember correctly. No. Um, let's see, I, I remember. No, and I'm recording a video, please. Eat this. The power, yeah. Current growth friend. Children and dragons gain the ability to produce a stream of magically charged water from their mouths, which has a swift and dramatic effect on nearby vegetation. In an instant, a plant that seemed dead will be revived and crops will flourish. Some dragons have been known to use this ability to avert famine in human communities. Others have chosen to become ad adventurers of the forest and fight for the plants against I encroaching humans. Okay. Now I'm going to show you what you can do with these plant abilities. With this barrel, plants. With this hay, it's not green. I don't know if that means it's fresh or not. Hit, 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 I really am. No, I'm not. 
I can't run! Alright, now I have this. For plant, you get plant breath. You can, you can take that, that regular escape route, or you can just do this. I'm sorry. Okay. There we go. There we go. I don't like this. There we go. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna make this now. It's nice. For a guardian, sometimes a dragon will set itself up as a guardian uh, of a human settlement. It may be out of true benevolence, or perhaps the same sort of con condescending concern we humans have towards our pets. The motivations of dragons are inscrutable. I can't read. These guardians are sometimes kind and sometimes strict among humans. They can generate love or res. Or resident, I don't know. Oh, look at all the strawberry. Yeah, we are that. Wait a minute. Did did I read? Did I read the uh? Ah, I forgot to read the thing, didn't I? Don't 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 Hello dragon, I give you this gift. Go for the tail. Jump Yeah 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 I should have picked a different one, didn't I? Ah, I don't. Oh well. But you're tired of seeing this, aren't you? <laughs> Anyways. Come on, move. There we go. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat this red worm. Whatever it is. Slug. I don't know what it is. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay. Where is it? Do you see that? Do you see that? It's it's one of those blue things, but it's stuck in the ground. How do you get that? You don't, don't you? Of course. Oh well, I don't. I didn't care in the first place. Ow! I hit my head. Anyways, I did it again. I'm so bad. Done. There we go. That was a tasty one. I wonder why it was so hard to get. Yeah, I'm just gonna drink some water. Delicious. Delicious water, I have the same. Mmm, yes. Oh, I wonder. I'm getting all red. I wonder what I'm gonna get. I'm not gonna repeat the same joke over and over again, okay? Ah. Uh. This. So I get the other fire. Oh, by the way, when I was first playing this, I I didn't know what the other one, the last fire was. I fully thought this was a part of the background. And when I found out I could eat it, I didn't know how I could eat it. But apparently, you had to jump and eat. What the heck? What the heck? What, what the heck? I like spinning out of control like this. Haha. <laughs> anyway. What are all these things? That they look do they look like fake butterflies or something.
Fire Breath. Fire Breath is the Fire Breath is in the minds of the uh, peasantry the most memorable of the dragon's abilities. By protecting flammable gases with its stomach and lighting them with a special gland on the roof of their mouth. That's interesting. A dragon can produce a flame hot enough to incinerate most thi most anything in its path. Do you grammar, bro? Anyways, I'm gonna show you the things you can burn again. Uh, barrel. I don't like it. Uh, no, you, by the way, same path. The same path for all the dragons. I don't. I don't have to say anything about that, do I? Anyways, this can escape. But I'm gonna show you more things you can burn. I just have to get there first. I don't like this tree. You spin me around, I bet it all around, blah 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 blah. Anyway. You can burn these. You can burn this. I will finally get my revenge. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, I, don't, I love the smell of, I love the smell of burn, burn, burnt human, burnt human in the whatever time it is. Do, 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 Escape! There are not, I've already read this. I hate this forest. I hate, I still hate this forest. I hate this tree. I hate all this. Human interaction. The history of human dragon interactions is a complex one. Some dragons ignore humans altogether, while others ca cause cruel and ar arbitrary destruction. Occasionally, a dragon will set itself up in a position of power over humans, either as a strict overlord or a gracious protector. An adult dragon is a fearsome sight, and it's and is effectively impervious to. Oh, but the most dedicated human attackers, which are none of these guys. So I'm just gonna bring them to death. I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna bring them all to death. I'm just. Gonna, yep, 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 yep. Just, 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 just look at that beauty. Look at all this. It's beautiful. So beautiful. Brings a tear to my eye. And I'm gonna bring the first as well. You're so much quicker as a dragon. Maybe because you're so. Big. Anyways. Mm, no. 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 Mmm. Just like how, just like how mother used to make. Wait a minute. This is gonna take a while. This, yep. This this is gonna take a while. This this yep. This is going to take. I'm just gonna fly. We we we. We, we, this is boring. We, this is boring. We, this is so boring. I prepared and re I can't talk. I can't talk. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I can't talk. I ate the same human twice. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know how those burn pee. But how those, like, bite mark looking things. Well, if you actually manage to get a human on top of another human, I mean, it looks like you're actually like taking a little nibble out of them. Wait, you kind of see what I mean right here? Not really, but still. You get what I mean now, right? No, no, okay. I'm just gonna wait here. Just got the sun. <sighs> Fiery tyrant. History is full of stories about tyrant dragons. These cruel creatures eat control of human settlements by force and rule with firm claws and quick judgment. Many of these tyrants seem motivated by the tribute they demand from their human subjects, while others appear to simply desire power. Whatever the rest reasons, draconic tyrants can rule for centuries before they are, are toppled by a human hero. Okay. I'm going to slay this dragon. 
<laughs> See? I'm going to destroy this dragon. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Yes, I'm going to do this. I'm going to beat this dragon so badly. You have no idea. <laughs> yes. I. Ah. Uh, Ah, ha, 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 Man, I need to stop eating donuts. Man, donuts didn't even exist in this timeline. <laughs> Wait, or did they? I oh, don't know. <laughs> I'm so tired of panting. Anyways, do 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 do. How this? I'm just gonna stay down here. Service through the appro appropriate. Yes, tribute. A hero can appease a dragon enough to t enough to temper its attitude toward humans. The hero must bring a gift and pledge service to the dragon. Doing so, the hero becomes a tool of the dragon to advance the creature's agenda. This provides the hero great power, but it also means that the hero's freedom is granted only at the whim of the dragon. If a dragon abandons a servant, the servant is actually been executed by other humans under the dragon's control. Ew. Wait, are you going to kill me? Well, darn. Okay, I'm going to do one more. Ah, uh, blue is my favorite co color. Yet I'm gonna be an 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 a full, an, uh, but I'm gonna be an evil dragon. Ah, uh, this is, this is going. Oh no! Oh no! I hate this. I wanna be. I don't wanna be an evil dragon. Do you guys want me to see me to be an evil dragon? Do you? Yes. No. I'm not. Ow! I hit my head. I did it again. I I did it again. No, just. Yep. I missed! How could you miss? Or oh, something be in front of you? Yes. Anyways. Get up there. There we go. Yeah! I hate this bug. It's so hard to get. Sometimes. See? I got it. I got it. I have everything under control. Don't you dare question me! Now I'm on a cage. I hate this cage. Now I'm gonna show you everything you can do. Do with the healing powers. <laughs> ha! Oh, you're gonna be so amazed. By the way, I said I'm going to be an evil dra dra dragon. Yeah, I'm still going to do this. I'm, I'm still going to do what I'm about to do. <laughs> so I think I. So maybe something happened in my childhood. Something happened in my childhood, I guess. I don't know. Uh, uh, by the way, I don't fully like this ice cream thing, because I'd actually have to buy the whole thing. Um, oh, by the way, if you don't know what I'm talking about, the ice cream, ice cream, I don't know, recorder thing, it can really only record like 10 minutes. So I literally have to combine combine the uh, recordings into one on YouTube. Anyways, Killing Breath, a dragon who is, has ingested certain certain herbs and mystical substances during accidents can produce a healing mist from its nostrils. As always, its mouth. This substance is an effective as the best man made slay. I don't know. And can cure most ailments. 
This ability is sometimes used selfishly, so that the dragon can amuse itself or reward loyal servants who can often tell other dragons to have turned the power into benevolent purposes. I still can't read! Darn. Anyways. All you can really do with all you can really do with this <laughs> All you can really do with this is do this. I forgive you. Hello. Forgiveness. Occasionally a captive dragon will forgive its captor and perform form an act of kindness in a time of need. The dragon is in every way superior a superior beast to a, the human. Superior in mind, superior in body, and superior in heart. When a dragon shows anger, it burns brighter than any human rage. The draconic forgiveness signs even brighter. Only the most callous of captors could resist releasing such a noble beast. Legas! What has a human done to you? That's it. I'm just, I'm gonna kill them. I'm gonna kill them all. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Eh. 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 Stomp. 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 Stomp, 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 stomp. <laughs> You're probably wondering, what the heck am I doing? Why don't I just eat them or something? Well, if you have squished bodies. Uh, the zombie apocalypse, it has started. <laughs> I'm bored. I really am. I really, really am. <laughs> Necromantic scores. Dra the draconic scores is a fearsome creature. These beasts cause destruction for no apparent reason. Sometimes they demand a tribute of riches or human sacrifice. But at other times, they just destroy and retreat back to their distant lairs. The only most interbed of human heroes can approach the scores whether to give tribute or defeat the beast. I'm going to defeat this beast because I'm tired of all these freaking zombies. Oh, hold on, I'm just going to show you the village and I'm just going to tongue skip. See? Zombie. 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 Normal people. Normal. Hooray. Still normal people. Okay, let's just time skip. Look at all these zombies! Ah! Okay, we found the dragon. It's already attacking. I didn't even do anything yet. See? Ow! Oh, that was a cheap shot. You're going down. Uh oh. You're still going down. Ah. Ow! Okay, that was a bad idea. Uh, I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die. I'm just gonna stay down here. Nope. 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 I'm so close to death. 
I'm so close to death. It's not even funny. Oh! Follow the hero. Some heroes are not meant to survive. Some beasts cannot be slain. Your hero who falters or who comes for the dragon too, too soon or who is simply unlucky will die. This is a risk of a hero. Hero embraces when venturing out on the ultimate quest. A hero is not a hero because of bravery. A hero is one who does what he must be done, even though it is frightening. Fright even though it is hard, and even though it may end in failure, but I shall not give up. Let's do this. <laughs> yes, I picked, picked a little white dragon. Okay, that's not fair. Slaying the dragon. Death is a constant risk, even for for the nigh immortal dragon. While dragons can live millennia, one final arrow fired by a fierce heart can end the no 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 blessed of lives. No blessed no, noble. I don't know. No blessed of lives. The human who slays the dragon will go down in history. The dragon will also live forever in the hero's story. It means nothing to slay a weak beast, and so the legend of a dragon slayer also serves to honor the dragon who gave its life to the hero's legacy. Do you still think we're over? No, no, no. Look. We still have a long way to go. Let's see. I, I'll be honest, I never really got these two two ones. I don't know what they do. I don't know what they are. So, if you could tell me, then I, I guess I'll do it. So, I guess before we end this. Well. Uh, okay. Leave a, leave a, whoa, leave a, like, leave a comment, subscribe, do whatever, holy, ow, no, ow, no, ow, like I said, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe if you want, the sad part is I didn't even get killed by the ender dragon. Oh, oh.